Hi friends, today I will review the device that I bought online from China. The multifunctional component tester we will talk about is an instrument that can check not only transistors, diodes, resistors, and other small things, but also microchips. The functional is simply amazing. It can unerringly test operating amplifiers, standard logic chips, drivers for stepper motors, optocouplers, and much more. Such a miracle of technology is called IC Tester. Every radio amateur will fall in love with this device. You will forget about doubtful microchips and forget about the test circuits you need to assemble to check them. Just stick the chip into the tester and after a second the tester will make a verdict. Let's look at the device. This is a compact box of pocket dimensions. Has a small LCD display 16x2 with a backlight. It is smaller than usual displays of this type. Dimensions are 36 by 10. The weight of the device without a power source is 120 grams. On the front panel, in addition to the display, is a large 24-pin plug into which the components will insert and seven control buttons. AA size 1.5 volt batteries are used for feeding. Ergonomics is good, very convenient, compact and easy to manage. Before we try the device and understand its capability, let's study the feeling. Inside we see beautiful printed circuit board with multiple chips. Most of these chips are 8-bit registers. The heart of the circuit is a programmable microcontroller with wiped out marking. But the search in the web made it clear that there is a microcontroller STC12C5A60S2. On the board you can also see a step-up converter. It is probably needed for testing some chips and also for Xenier diodes, because device can test Xenier diodes up to 50 volts. The printed circuit board is of very high quality. By the way, for your projects you can order ready-made PCB of the same quality on the GLCPCB website. This is one of the leading manufacturers of the printed circuit boards. Prices start at $2 per 10 pieces. The boards are made according to your Gerber format files in the shortest possible time. A link to the GLCPCB website can be found in the description under the video. Now about the functional. Believe me, here it is very big. I will just list the possibilities of what it can. An important point is the correct installation of the component, otherwise the device will not be able to detect it. In the case of testing the chips, its first pin must be inserted into the upper left terminal of the socket. Then the microchip is clamped and then we press the enter button. The device will turn on and most likely the display will display an error, but press the enter button again and the component is detected. The type of search is displayed at the top line, the name of the component on the bottom line. The instrument is also equipped with an auto-off function after 60 seconds, but you can turn off the tester right after the test by pressing the O. Measurements can be made both in automatic and manual mode. The automatic mode works only in case of verification of microcircuits. For other components, for example diodes, transistors and so on, you need to select the corresponding item. In the case of manual selection, we see a slightly different picture. OK appears, which again indicates the health of the component. Pressing the Enter button turns on the device. The up and down keys allows manually select the type of the component that you want to check. After selecting the desired item, simply press Enter. Of course, the component should already be installed. The firmware of the tester contains thousands of algorithms and contains parameters of hundreds of various components, so that it is almost a computer. I think about the chips everything is clear. There was no serious problem with the correct definition of the components and wasn't doubts in the truthfulness of the testimony. Let's go to transistors. This device can detect any transistors of any conductivity. The transistor pins must be set to the specified holes, which are numbered as 10, 11 and 12. Then turn on the device, select Check of the transistors, press Enter button and the component will be instantly detected. Unlike the usual transistor tester, which displays almost all the parameters of the transistor, this device shows only the structure of the transistor and pinout of leads. In some cases, this is quite enough. 
As said before, the tester can check the Zener diodes with a stabilization voltage of up to 50 volts. So the Zener diode will set to pins 13 and 14. The cathode must be set to the 13th pin. Then turn on the device, select the ZD item, that is to say the Zener diode, and press the Enter. To check the optocouplers, the anode will insert into pin 1, the cathode into pin 2, the emitter into 23, and controller into 24. In the menu, select the item light. The device identifies the NE555 chips and its analogous without problems. That cannot but rejoice. Field effect transistors and thrusters check also hadn't any problems. I very much hoped that the device would be able to check the IGBT transistors, but unfortunately, like common transistor testers, it doesn't check them. It's a pity. I think for the price of $40, you will save a lot of time to check the doubted microcircuits, which are accumulated at most radio amateurs. It's a pity that the tester can't check the PWM controllers. In that case, it would be invaluable. My opinion, the device is worth of its money. It's compact, stylish, and with fantastic functional. You must remember that it's not a usual transistor tester that tests primitive components. This device is sharpened precisely for testing widely used microchips and it copes with its tasks perfectly. If the video was useful, please don't forget to rate and share it with your friends in social networks. The link to the purchase can be found in the description. Goodbye, until next videos. With you was Akakasyan.